Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You and welcome to part 112 of my let's play of Ama Yui Castle Meister. We've got a couple of scenes to view. Alright, she excuses herself into her Avaro's workshop and says she has a report to make. She's got an unusual expression. A bit serious, a bit sad. So, what is it? Yeah, she seems somehow tired. Actually, just now, she met with that high priest. Well, it did come up before that she was, was an acquaintance of the high priest. And there, something a little sad happened. Sob. Yeah, she actually said that. Uh, what happened? So, Rishwin Seili's name has been removed from the roster of Fuchsia's Holy Knights. Ah, uh, please console her. Please. Okay, Avara can tell you're faking the crying. Uh, doing it far too much, in fact. But is this really alright? Being removed from the Holy Knights and all is a pretty big thing. It's probably because you got connected to the castle and everything. Well, I guess she wasn't at all too serious about getting pity sex out of this. Anyway. It's true that she's been known to come and go from the castle and the connection's been known and she, well, speculated that this would be the end of her affiliation with the Holy Knights. But more than being a member of the Holy Knights, she's been making a name for herself as the ruler of Rao Rosso. So for the most part, things aren't going to change. Well, if she's all right with it, then I guess she wanted to make one quick attempt at getting some sex out of the deal. And in that, since she had the opportunity, as ruler of Rao Rosso, she decided to do spread Fia's name about. Fia's name? So, before the meeting and everything, she thought of some effective work that she'd be able to do. Since the god Fiusha is also somehow connected to connections, she's made an introduction. Ah, I see. She was saying she's introduced Fia as someone with a connection to Fuchsia. So saying she has a connection, we still haven't confirmed that. <laughs> I 
覚めさせることができるのはビユシア様ゆかりのものだけですので Okay, even if Alvaro says so, inside of Rishu and Sally, she is certain. I guess that's good enough for her. Anyway, within Raul Rosso, according to the history, Fuchsia is connected to spirits and strengthening spirits and things, awakening them. It's true that Fia gets along well with our Yuiki. And their spirits. So she continues. So na kanji de, iro iro to nachi o mawatte iru toki ni o hanashi o kiite ita no desu. And in that vein, heading about the town, she's wandered about, listening to stuff. どうやらインフルエンス王国軍が動き出しているようです。ここより南方の地域に駐留しているとのことでした。And it seems that the Indus Kingdom's army is on the move. They're somewhat south of us. They've taken up station there. Well, we wonder why the royal army would be moving so boldly at this time. Do you think it has something to do with the meeting, protecting the meeting, or something? インフルエンス王国の代表として参加なされる方が騎士団所属のお方だからという理由が強いようですわ。That may be the case, but we happen to know that the representative of the Influence Kingdom is connected to the Knights. So that reason may be strong as well. Connected with the Knights, huh? So participation in this a c o l i c o r d s by that kingdom. Well, I wonder if that's an appropriate choice. Gilsh was at one time the captain of the knights. Now, before saying what Rishu had to say, we only know one other person right now who's affiliated with the Knights, and that's Kisnir. I doubt she's the one chosen, but. I mean, nobody else comes to mind. In any case, with regards to these troop movements, however, the passage of the pilgrims has been limited. And since that's happened so recently. 現在たちでは病床や流れの職人も不足してしまっているようですの。Thanks to this limit on their passage, here in the town, the merchants, well, the resident merchants and the traveling merchants, have come to be un, so insufficient. So she gives us a meaningful look, and of all grips, what is she trying to say? I see. It's time for the Gualacuna Company to show itself. That's right. So bringing good effects upon the people in the vicinity. We should be able to make a good impression before the Holy Accords. So, let's get out there and do it. Oh, great. New plans. Mystery person. Oh, jeez, it's an elf. Kill it. Okay, so. Before commencing the Holy Accords, we've got some time, so. I've already decided to talk to some elf soldier. This guy's on the castle, kind of doing a w overwatching thing. So, Aurora has something he'd like to confirm. So, the people on the castle are allowed to go to the town. 
Is it possible we could explore the outskirts? This guy asks your motive, your objective in doing exploration. Well, gathering materials that are necessary for our company work and strengthening the spirits of the earth and stuff. So understood. As long as you go, don't go into the north portion of the mountain range, there won't be a problem. North portion. In other words, the Holy Land is still forbidden entry. Do you have any recommended areas? Yes. We should try the western area. So, Fuchsia's investigations in the region shows that it's got good natural resources. And while it was managed by humans some time back, for several decades now, there have been none there. So why is that? So the western portion has been under the influence of followers of the night. Yeah, followers of darkness. He's not using the same thing that Gaidal was describing. Um, no, it wasn't Gaidal, it was Rishon and Selian Gaidal. In any case, it's a close but not the same title. In any case, those type of people were um, living up in there. But for some reason, lately they've been, they grew weak and in more recent days, permission to pass for the general public has been allowed in the region. Although this says several decades ago. Huh, interesting. So if these are followers of darkness, I've all wonders if this is connected to Gaidal's dark refiners. And if that's the case, the reason why they got weaker was because we had such a hell of a battle with them. Hmm. And this guy does not recommend exploration in the south. So what's down there? So there is a area called the Whale Bone Cl Whale Jaw Cliff. And presently, the Influence Kingdom's army is stationed there. So it's kind of off limits. It seems, due to the confusion in the western portion, those guys have moved in without the elves' permission. But after the report, the convening of the Holy Chords started. And then, well, I think the army moved in a little bit before that, but at this point there, kind of got a reason. Nonetheless, this guy says it's a shame. Is that so? Well, he says it's a shame, but his expression is still, well, you can look at it. All right, thanks for the information. So as long as you limit your place to the places, to the locations where the pilgrims are allowed to go, your movements will not be restricted.
So you guys are participants in the Holy Accords. On the occasion of any exploration, take care not to get, sustain any injuries. Now again, he's not showing any expression in his voice, but perhaps he's a little worried for us. Now, oh, whatever. Oh, that's the Gaure Waterfall. I should have been... I should have translated that into the conversation there. So it's a waterfall and there's stuff there. Now about that new item I need to build. Boy, it does look important. It's even got an icon that says important. Anyway. I need purple magic stones. Now it's been a while since I've gotten any of those. I think, perhaps, I've only gotten that one in the entire game. You can mine them here, and that's the only place. And there's a certain enemy that drops them. Ah, yes. Yeah, she shows up here. This is the enticing shell monster. There's one that'll show up there, and one that shows up here. I think if I've only got one purple magic ore, then I probably haven't used very much of it in the entire game. Anyway, I'm hoping that up at this waterfall to the north, there will be new monsters I can fight that will give me more of that purple magic ore without me having to backtrack all the way down here to those three regions. But next time I'm going to be exploring that particular map, so thanks for watching and I will see you next time.